Hey everybody, this is Mr. Fugu. We got a short video for you. Those who have never used Google Colab, this is a good resource you should look into. This is only going over if you need to upload a file into Google Colab from your local machine. Here I am at the regular Google interface for your search results. I click this, we open this up. These are some of my old little notebooks that I had just playing around. You could upload Google Drive, GitHub, or files directly right here but I'm gonna show you what the code looks like from a new notebook. Let's try something out. Let's import pandas, see what we get. If I could pull up a file or not. And of course we get an error. Well, what's going on with this error? It says this file right here isn't in our current directory. So we have to figure out how to get into that. It's time to do our little workaround. So let's do google.colab and we need to import files, create a variable. I'm just gonna call it upload file and call in files dot upload. But what do we do now? Well, can we put our file in? Let's find out. Nope, because you're putting a positional argument in here. Well, we don't need to do that. So what do we do? Here's one option. Now you can use this, click this and put your file. There we go, that's one way. Here's another workaround that you can do to do the same type of thing. Let's store the data set in there. Here's another way to do this. Let's import IO. Then we're going to create our little data frame and we're gonna do pandas. Let's call this in to make sure it works, right? Let's read our CSV, let's call it in. It works. Now let's do our other workaround. So that's where we're going to use the import IO. Then just create this as a data frame two, where we're going to call in as usual your pd.read CSV. Now what do I do? I need to do io.bytes io and then let's call our uploaded file. Then we got this bracket and we call the file in. Now let's see if this works. And there we go. Now you got two ways of doing the same thing, but that'll be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Feel free to hit me up on any of the socials if you have questions or want any videos for the future. See you in the next one. Bye.